All right, top three in the 450 class this weekend. Dean Wilson, third place. Blake Baggett, second. Eli Tomac taking the victory. We'll start off with Eli. Eli, what is it about this track that you just seem to gel with? I guess it's just the sand. You know, we only have one really good sand track of the year, and that's, that's here at Southwick. And uh, it's either you kind of love it or you hate it. So um, it's a track that I really enjoy riding. And uh, I, I don't know what it is with sand. It's, it's, like I said before, either good or you're kind of not. So um, all around, good weekend. It was. Blake, with the thumb injury that occurred last weekend, how would that affect you today? And what did you do to kind of minimize damage on it? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think it was the, the best day that we could have for uh, coming in not 100%. I'm not a super fan of this place by all means and just uh, salvaged it out. So to me, uh, you know, I felt like I'd, I rode the best I could and had a, had a solid weekend. So I'm happy with what I was uh, able to come away with. Nick Baggett with a 2-2 on the day. Dean Wilson, first 450 podium. Had an awesome ride today. Cooper Webb. You guys were kind of the ones battling over that final spot in the closing stages in uh, moto number two. How awesome it feel to be up here, kind of where you feel like you belong. Yeah, it feels, it feels really good. Um, you know, it's pretty crazy to think this is my first ever career podium. It's been uh, six years since I've been at a press conference, so it's a great feeling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, it's not really even a, tr a track or race that I really like, but um, I kind of mentally prepared myself during the week coming in that it was going to be a tough one for me, and I think maybe that helped me as I just knew I had to tough it out and because uh, it's a very physical, demanding track. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we ended up here, so it's a great weekend and just really, really happy. Awesome. Anybody else questions? Eli, what's, what's gelled for you over the last couple of weeks? Is it, you know, was it mistakes before or? Changes to the bike, what's, what's happening? Um, well, I felt like I was riding pretty well at the beginning of the season, and then, uh, and then I don't know, I just struggled, you know, quite a few races, my starts haven't been good, and uh, so yeah, this, this weekend, I feel like my starts were actually like, you know, pretty decent, and uh, yeah, I just kind of been consistent with my training, and just, you know, just keep sticking to the script. Uh, so it's nice to see it finally pay off. Um, you know, I felt like my fitness was really good out there. I felt like my, my bike was handling really good. So it's just a combination of those that helped me. Um, yeah, I knew and like, you know, Eli was behind me. He's uh, on a different level. So I really don't try to compete too hard. I kind of just uh, let him have it <laughs> and see if I can learn anything off of him as I'm just not at that pace yet. So it's just kind of a building process for me. Eli, Millville is another strong track for you. That's in two weeks' time. Um, with this weekend off, is that something you're looking forward to? Does it kind of seem like you'd rather just stay in the swing of things at this point? You know, I don't. I think at this point, you know, we're just we're in we're in a good spot. You know, we're good spot points wise, and you know, we're not searching with anything on the motorcycle. So I, I'm content. I don't really mind the weekend off. You know, we'll everyone will rest up a little bit and come back fresh. And uh, I think we got a couple of more good tracks coming to us. Speaking of resting up, I know, Blake, you're probably really thankful for the off weekend coming up. What are your plans on trying to get your thumb better during the off weekend? I mean, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for the off weekend for sure. But, uh, yeah, Monday I have an MRI, and uh, everything that we've done so far looks like that the ligament is tore um, on the thumb. So uh, worst case scenario would have to, uh, to go in and get it fixed on this, uh, and then hopefully two weeks is enough to, to come back out swinging. So, uh, you know, just I'd like to get up there and, and put on good races and uh, be able to battle with Eli. So today, uh, you know, that was not going to happen. Just uh, he was on a whole nother level and uh, just didn't feel that great. Awesome. Well, Dean, I guess we'll have another question for you. Uh, you, you won the 250 championship back in 2011, I believe that was. Uh, since then, obviously, a lot of injuries happening, everything like that. What is it about really this team in general that has just made you excel the past six months? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I really have to give a big thank you to the whole team. You know, my mechanic, Mohead, really, really puts a lot of time and, and gets my bike, you know, dialed. And Bobby Hewitt for just giving me the opportunity. You know, he uh, just, you know, he, he helped me when I had nothing. I was pitting out the back of a van, you know, and I've kind of 
seeing the side that you don't really, you know, want to be in, in the sport. So, you know, from there on, um, the, just being on the team and they just kind of, I don't know, we just gel really good and, you know, kind of let me be me and, and let me work hard and still have fun. And, and you know, you got to have a good balance for me. And, and I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun with my training and with my writing. And, you know, it's like uh, you know, there's just a time where uh, I didn't know, like, if, if I was going to continue this because um, it was just it was a really big struggle for a few years. And, you know, you would work hard and then get knocked back down and work hard, not knocked back down. And then, um, you know, then not even, you know, getting picked up by any teams at the beginning of the season was kind of tough. But um, so, yeah, to, for the team just to give me this opportunity and um, it's just yeah, it's kind of brought me back on my feet, and I'm just at a really, in a really good place in my life right now, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. This is a question for uh, Eli. Uh, they trucked in a lot of sand this year to make the track more strenuous for the riders. Uh, did you feel it was different this year? Uh, it wasn't a whole lot different. I was expecting more, but uh, I don't know. I don't know when they brought it in, but honestly, it still had that base, and it kind of was the, the normal, I would call it. So uh, I would say no, it wasn't a whole lot different. All right, any other questions? All right. Hey Blake, uh, with that thumb, did you ride at all during the week? Or was press day your first day on the bike? Yeah, press day, I you know, did, uh, did a few laps on uh, both sessions just to kind of test it out and basically test how we were gonna tape it to, to try and you know, basically make a fake, you know, fake brace and uh, it's hard because you got to have the moto gloves and you still got to have feelings so uh, just kind of gave it a few test runs on on how we were going to tape it and that was it so you experimented with a couple tape uh, braces on press tape yeah okay thanks well that'll wrap up our 450 press conference congratulations Eli Tomac on a great ride Blake Baggett second place Dean Wilson first career podium in the 450 class